In our prayers today, we're going to listen to two readings. First, John chapter 8, verses 31 to 36, and then some of the verses from Galatians chapter 5. But first, in John 8, verses 31 to 36, we read these words. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now, a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So, if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. So let's pray. In John chapter 8, we hear, O Lord, that there were e then even those who had believed you, who still did not know the depth of their need of you. In John 8, we read of those who had believed you, but not yet come to believe in you. Those hearing, but not yet set free, still darkened in their understanding and ignorant of the truth of the gospel. Lord, we pray today for all who know your name, but have not come to know the truth that you have died for them and that in you they are saved. We pray today for all who know they are not good enough but haven't yet heard or accepted and believed that you are good enough. We pray today for those who are still lost in their sins and for those who, having known themselves forgiven, have slipped back into old ways of thinking or having fallen, have lost their hold on your salvation and have lost their joy. Lord, we pray for all those who know of you and yet are not believing in you. Our response in our prayers today, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, in your mercy, and we say, set us free. We pray, Lord, for those who are suffering sickness, illness or injury. Those in hospital, those ill at home, those enduring chronic illness. Those facing terminal illness. We recognise, O oh God, that illness, sickness and death was never your purpose, was never your idea for us. Please comfort, strengthen, hold, heal and carry all we know and name before you now in our hearts who are in pain, whether that be pain in body, mind or spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, in your mercy, set us free. Lord, we pray for those who are facing war or famine. We continue to hold before you the suffering people of Ukraine, the old, the young, the weak, those separated from their families. Lord, we pray for the soldiers, sailors and airmen and women on both sides of the conflict. We pray that peace may come, that somehow, in some way, you will cause this war to cease. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, in your mercy, set us and in Galatians 5 we read these words it is for freedom that Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery living Lord Jesus you gave your life to set us free cause us to stand firm on your word Cause us to stand firm in your way, that we too may live as those who are yours, who have been set free. 
that we may not live as those still filled with fear and held by shame. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, in your mercy, set us free. And in verse 13 to 15 of Galatians uh, chapter 5, we are told, You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbour as yourself. And the Apostle Paul writes, if you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. I wonder how long it took before the animals set free from the ark began again to turn on and eat each other. Maybe it just took a day. Maybe it took a bit longer. But it surely didn't take long. Cause us, O Lord, to so trust in you and depend on you and to be filled by you that we may put off our old natures and put on the new, that we may be set free in our service to others and not live as those who simply serve themselves. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, in your mercy, set us free. Let us be more like you. Let us be less like ourselves. In your name we pray. Amen.